Good morning, hope you're well. I am starting the vlog today in my bedroom because we're doing some organising today. I need to organise um, like my beauty bits and just little bits and bobs. But first, I'm just going to put some product in my hair. I bought this yesterday. Um, well, it came on Amazon and it is the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. So this has got shea, shea butter for natural hair, coconut curling cream, defines, moisturises and helps strengthen strands. When I follow it on Instagram, I was using it and her hair looks lovely. It smells really nice, actually. I washed this two days ago, so I just need a little bit more. I don't know, it's just getting a little bit frizzy. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of product in just to add a little bit more moisture back into my hair. Mark put the jewellery drawer in the wardrobe for me the other day because I've been waiting for it from Ikea uh, because it wasn't in stock for so, so long. So I'm going to show you how that looks today and also like fill the jewellery drawer and stuff. It was meant to be Orlando Sports Day this morning and unfortunately it's been cancelled. So I'm not going to that anymore, which is such a shame, but it's just been postponed so they're going to redo it on another day. I'm trying to do my hair like this now at least once a week just to give it that break from like straightening and blow drying and all of that kind of stuff. I still do use heat on it because I do diffuse it but I feel like it's a lot less heat than usual. Now for this part of the video I'm going to be talking to you about Skin and Me because I've been working with them for many many months now. Skin and Me is where you can go and get some amazing products for your skin that are designed by dermatologists and they are for your skin specifically. So if you've got any kind of concerns with your skin whether it's aging or blemishes or um, dryness, just hydration, anything like that you can go to Skin and Me and they'll be able to create you your own personalized skincare. I've been using Skin and Me for months and months now and everyone that I recommend it to has really got on well with it. I get messages all the time even on Instagram as well saying thank you so much for recommending it. It's really helped my skin out and yeah I've been using it for many months now and it's definitely helped with my skin. So this is what the daily doser looks like. Each line there represents a day all you do is you twist it when it clicks so that's enough product for the day so that's all you need for the day and you just use this daily every evening after you've washed your skin and all of that so you use it before any other products as well so if you want to use any products after this you just need to leave it 10 minutes but I also use it with these products as well so I use the Skin and Me Soothe and Smooth Light Moisturiser and then the Purify Prep Hydrating Cleanser as well so if you want to have a whole three-step routine then you can do if you just wanted to use the Daily Doser you can do that too I have got a discount code as well so if you want to try your first month for just £3.50 it's usually £24.99 then you can just use my code LISA9 so that's a whole month's supply for just £3.50 so it's a really good amount of time to kind of try it on your skin. I found that when I first started using Skin and Me within the first couple of weeks I really started to notice, notice the difference in my skin. I tend to get a lot of blemishes like down here around my chin and my nose area as well. And I do think that it's really improved that. And also I just wanted my skin to just look a little bit more rejuvenated. And it's definitely helped with that. Everything that you get from Skin and Me is made to order. And with the Daily Doser, it's literally just posted through your letterbox. All you need to do to start your Skin and Me journey is you go and answer a questionnaire about your skin and your concerns. And then you just need to upload three photos of your skin. So from the front, and then from each side and then you can have your own personalized skincare which is just fantastic as well so that is everything on skin and me i will leave a link in the description box for you if you would like to check it out um but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to rewind to when we put the drawer in the packs wardrobe and then i'll be back and we can fill it so we're going to sort this area out today and mark is going to put my drawer in that we got from ikea it's a jewelry drawer so i need to get some of these items out because they're a little bit tall and then also I'm going to sort up here out. I bought those boxes the other day from B&M. So I'm going to put bits in there that don't fit in this drawer. And all of that kind of you stuff. So uh, I usually just use a chair. Oh nice. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Oh, yeah, cute. So when the drawer is in I'll show you what it looks like. I'm looking forward to having that. Because it's like a jewellery drawer. And yes. I can just like you know like sunglasses. Little bits and bobs like that. Will all be organised in bits, one place. These bits here go in the drawer do they? Yeah. Oh, cool. To oh, organise, nice. yeah. Oh, sweet. So, okay. We've been yeah. waiting for that for ages, haven't we? That wasn't our fault, was it? No, we just wanted in stock, so. Yeah. We've yeah. been waiting like a year, haven't we? Let's get it in there. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so we're back to present day and now I'm gonna show you what the drawer currently looks like. So, this is what it all looks like. So I've got so much space now to put, you know, sunglasses, jewelry, little knickknacks basically. I popped my necklace in here because I thought this was just the perfect spot for it. This is my Monica Vinida beaded necklace and I thought it would be perfect there. I can have, I can put my rings here, earrings. I don't really have that much jewelry, but it's just nice to have a, like a drawer of just little knickknacks and things. And I thought I'd show you as well, I've got some perfumes here. So I have been loving these perfumes. I did a reel on them the other day and I did share them on my YouTube shorts as well. Hypnotic Poison, you know, I've mentioned this one before, so beautiful. And then this is a really gorgeous everyday perfume. So this is Lavande Blanche by L'Occitane and I used this yesterday and it's just so gorgeous and fresh. If you want that real clean girl aesthetic, this is the one to try. And then a little bit more of a fun one is this Ariana Grande cloud. Again, this is just a nice one from day to night. You can wear this. It doesn't last as long as a hypnotic poison, but it is a really lovely perfume. So those are my favorites at the moment. I need to find a little spot for those. Where do you guys put your perfumes? Because they need to be away in a cupboard, really, not out, out and about in the light. So I just keep them in here for now. But yeah, I've popped these here as well for a second because all of these products were in the drawer beneath this. But because they were quite tall, they didn't quite fit so yes that is that but let's fill this one up shall we i don't know if this lighting is a bit off but that's the only way really i can put you but i thought i would show you this because i bought this on amazon if you ever want to order jewelry online like rings specifically and you don't know your ring size because i'm a nightmare i know i don't know what my ring size is so i bought this little ring sizer so literally all you do is you pop it on there's also like a little where is that now you get this as well so once you know what size you want your ring to be you pop this on here and it will tell you what letter it is or what number it is i just thought that was so fab and it's just such a great little item to have so i'm going to pop that in here as well so this is basically going to be a little bit of a jewelry haul isn't it like i'm going to show you what my jewelry bits are today i've got loads of really like cheapy bits when it comes to jewelry i don't have that many expensive items i have a few pieces but like for example, I've got these from Primark, which I've never, I don't think I've ever worn actually. Okay, so I've moved you now so we can actually see what's going on in here. Much better. So, right. I've got some jewellery here. So I've got this bracelet here. So I get asked about these all the time. These are by Bella Jane Jewellery. I always wear one. I've got one here at the minute. But I've got a couple of other beaded bracelets as well. I really love her bracelets. They're so beautiful. So I'm going to keep that in the pouch just because I feel like they're meant to stay in there. This will protect them as well. I'm just going to pop those. It's going to be so nice having a proper place for all my jewellery. Like, that is so cute. I love that. I've also got my Lottie Lee locket chain. Okay, so this is how everything currently looks. I'm really, really pleased with it. I actually have more jewellery than I thought I did, actually. So let me start at the top. So at the top, we have the ring sizer. Then I've got my Bella Jane bracelets. Then I've just got a few different, like, chunkier earrings that I didn't really want to pop in here. I've also got lots of little hair accessories. I love all of these pearly hair accessories. They're so pretty. And then in this section here, I've got some of my favourite necklaces that I would wear all the time. 
I love gold as you can see so pretty much everything in here is gold I've got lots of little gold earrings here I do have some Tiffany earrings here I do need to clean those I need to get some silver cleaner to give those a clean because I haven't worn them in so long and then I've just got some different like Primark rings these are just ones that you can kind of stack I've got this one here from Crystals & Co a couple of earrings and um, some more hoops here which are really cute and then up here I have got some silver sparkly jewellery which I actually bought for a brand job because I dressed up as a Madonna for an ad so this is kind of like the material girl look so I'm keeping that because I can always use that for other dress up or you know you never know when you might need something sparkly so I'm keeping those and then I've got a couple of watch straps for my Apple watch I've currently got the orange one that comes with it um, just because I thought it was quite nice for summer I like the colour of it but I always get asked about this one. This one is Hermes, so it came with the watch when we got the watch. And then this one is on Amazon, which is a really nice one. A little bit more heavy, but it looks really smart if you want to dress it up and make your watch look a little bit smarter. Also got some more necklaces here, just more costume jewellery. And then I've popped these glasses in here just for a minute, but you could probably stack quite a few in here. You probably get like, you could probably stack them like this to get some more space. So I might get some more sunglasses after and pop those in there. So I've got those in there. Um, some more bracelets at the back here just like more beaded bracelets there and then we also got the ring sizer there at the back so that is how it all looks at the minute which I think looks really good it just looks really lovely and organized so I'm really pleased with that but now I need to sort out um, this top section up here because I bought some boxes as you can see so I need to put my products in there whatever I'm going to want up there and then make that top section look a little bit nicer and then this part of the wardrobe will just look so much neater and I can tidy this section up as well so I'm going to do that now sorry there's some roadworks going on outside so it's a bit loud but just want to show you these baskets. I got these from B&M the other day. Look how gorgeous this is. It's got like a faux leather like handle, which I thought was really, really lovely. And I'm just going to use these for, you know, beauty bits. And then I also got three of these from B&M, which are a really pretty pearly colour. So they're not white. They've got a real like creamy pearl colour to them, which I thought was really nice. In here I've just got a mixture of different products from hair, body, face, all sorts really in here. I've got tanning products, these are like mainly tanning and hair items and then everything else is pretty mixed up but I know where everything is so I'm going to pop those back up on the shelf now that they're out of the drawer. This is looking great now so I want to just tidy this up, put my perfume somewhere nicely so I'm just going to take these off, give it a little wipe down. Are we a little bit wonky here? There we are. I found this tray that I got from Home Bargains a little while ago. So I'm going to use that for my perfumes. This is how the top looks now, much tidier. Looks so much nicer. And then the drawers. I think it looks fabulous. So that is that all organized. And then up there, I've got all of the other boxes that are filled with beauty products. These two up here actually don't have anything in them. So that's great. So I've got extra storage when I need to put some bits in there. I think I could put some tech items in there, camera equipment and things like that. So I might do that another day, but that is how that top section looks now. So from afar, everything just looks a little bit more organized now. I'm really, really pleased with how this has turned out. So that is a little organization of the pack center part of my wardrobe today. I'm really, really pleased with it. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to end the video there guys. It's so loud outside. I don't know what's going on. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and checking out my kind of jewellery situation and organising with me today. I'm going to start doing some cleaning videos soon as well. So hopefully you'll enjoy those and enjoy having those ones back. But don't forget to check out Skin and Me. I will leave a link in the description box for you. And also use my code LISA9 to get your first daily dose up. For just £3.50. It's usually £24.99. So it's a great offer definitely check that out let me know how you get on and i will see you all in my next video bye guys